What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great day, and um, it is Thirsty Thursday. We are getting close, and I mean close to free agency. We know that the Cowboys will be bargain basement shopping like they always do. They always do. And probably won't do anything the first week other than try and work on their own players. Hell, at the moment, we haven't even worked on getting underneath the cap. And we got to do that by Wednesday at 4 o'clock. Um, interesting thing here. I'm uh, sitting here getting my stuff together. <laughs> got tons of paperwork here that I have to get ready for the tax man and stuff. And so working on getting that together so we won't wait till the last minute, unlike the Cowboys, to get stuff done. But here's... Um, a rumor, now I was looking at, shout out to Mike Fisher, um, talking about, because it, it caught my, the headlines caught my eyes, Derrick Henry just bought a house in Dallas, and I was like, wait a minute, he already has a house in Dallas, he already works out in Dallas in the off season. of course, that's an easy translation, you know, last year we had uh, Hopkins, DeAndre Hopkins was working out with Des Bryant in Dallas. And, of course, the whole thing was, what's up, Dallas? You know, I'm, I want to be a Cowboy, basically. And then, of course, the Cowboys didn't contact him. And he was going to go on a revenge tour. And so, you know, he did so much damage to the Dallas Cowboys with his revenge tour. So I started reading the article here. And this is where Mike Fisher is trying to dispel a uh, fact from rumors. Derrick Henry has been working out in Dallas. And now there's gossip he just bought a house in Dallas. What's the truth behind the rumor? First, make no mistake about the Dallas-Fort Worth workout. He habitually does this in the NFL offseason, which in no way connects the two-time NFL rushing champ to the Dallas Cowboys. Second, he may have conducted another transaction in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, but also owns a house here, a 1.6 million, 4,000 square foot mansion near downtown in the Blue uh, Bluffsview area. So he didn't just move here. In addition to his home in Nashville, he's also been here since 2022 purchase of the Bluff Pad. Now, should this all add up to something more? No. Make no mistake, once again, the last couple of years, folks outside of the star have stirred up rumors about the Cowboys wanting to trade, sign, and pursue whatever King Henry. And it's never been more true. It was a team source suggesting that to us as the Cowboys. Um, you know, it was one of their bullet points. And... This is where, you know, people, I think people look more flash at Saquon. And I was pointing out with Saquon, Saquon, as the season, his big games were the early part of the season, and he has a tendency to kind of tail off. Well, if I'm looking at Derrick Henry's numbers here, and this is where um, Derrick Henry, the last game of the season for him against the Jacksonville Jaguars, 19 carries, 153 yards, 8.1 yards carry, and a touchdown. That's not to say he didn't have some stinker games down the stretch. The game against the Houston Texans, he had 16 carries for nine yards. But in the grand scheme of things, looking at this, he had you know a great game against Seattle, 19 carries, 88 yards, you know 4.6. You know a uh, great game against the Colts, 102 yards, uh, you know um, 4.9 yards of carry, and at least had. Four games, four games over 100 yards. You can't say that about Saquon. Saquon only had one game early on in the season of 100 yards. And I dare say that I would rather have a Derrick Henry running in the middle. I feel more confident about him being able to hold up. And keep in mind, now, now both of the running backs ended up having terrible offensive lines on terrible teams. Terrible. Saquon? 3.9 yards of carry. Henry led the league in yards, or led the league in carries, I believe, and ended up with um, 4.2 yards of carry. And I think that's a better bet. Now, here's where I'm really sold on this, because in this article, where is it? He was saying... Um, He's got, got 1,167 yards behind the poor offensive line in Tennessee while playing in every game. Yeah, leading the league in carries. So he had more carries than anybody else last year, you know, 1,100 yards. Um, and this is where this may be, if, if I'm seeing this correctly, 
the Cowboys shouldn't walk. They should be running towards Derrick Henry. Sport track, sport track, of course, they're, they're making a guesstimate of what his salary should be. 2024, they're estimating $4.3 million. So, you know, if you can get Derrick Henry and get 4.2 yards and over 1,000 yards a carry and have him as a great short yardage back, you got to do it. You, you got to do it. Uh, I'm sorry. That, that's to me, I thought, uh, me personally, I was thinking that a number would be somewhere around six or seven. If you can get him for $5 million, as opposed to what you were spending for Zeke Elliott, $16 million the year before, and 10.1 for Tony Pollard, that makes a whole lot of sense. And when you think about uh, Saquon, Saquon is going to be looking for 12, 13 million. He ain't going to get it. He ain't going to get it. I don't not not with the amount of running backs that are out there. Um, but even if we're talking about eight or nine, I think your money is much better spent on going for. Um, Going for, I'm trying to figure out what I've got that's beeping off. That's, I guess that's my email. Um, I think that that's a much, much better deal. And I think you'll end up having better production with him as opposed to, okay, I'm going crazy here. I'm going to just close everything. Let's try that. Let's just shut her down okay because that's just damn annoying in my ear here and i'm sure it's annoying to you guys i would say that that is a much better deal looking at derrick henry over saquon saquon to me to me and uh, you know you I'm, I'm a guy with a day job and a voodoo doll so don't take my word for jack but if i'm looking at it from the standpoint of saquon saquon is more like tony pollard to me he is more of a guy that you want to get the ball in space. I don't think that he is going to be great. Now, he has been really good all the way around as an all-around back. But it worries me with him trying to run, run up the middle. And we know that was one of the problems with Tony Pollard was being able to have him run between the tackles. He, he literally looked scared. Derrick Henry has made a living running between the tackles. And he's such a big, strong guy that he inflicts punishment on them. So who knows if the Cowboys will do anything. Knowing the Cowboys, um, he's not injured. Well, he is older. They won't sign him. you, you got to have some injury history there for them to sign you. But we'll wait and see if they do anything at all. I'm still waiting. I still got my bottle of liquor over here waiting to pop the top off of it and celebrate that the Cowboys have actually made a move. So... There you have it. There you have it. Derrick Henry bought a second property in Dallas. Maybe, just maybe, he's planning ahead. I'm Mark Holmes, and as always, I appreciate you. Peace out.